Hi, this is Jeremy Reynolds, and I'm with John Miner here at Joy Junction. John, thank you for taking a minute. Tell me how you ended up here. Well, I uh, am an older person, 75 years old, and I live on Social Security, and I eventually was not able to live on my Social Security that I get from the federal government. So I had rented several apartments over the past year and was unable to keep them. And I also had problems with addiction, alcohol addiction. My money would not be used carefully to pay the rent and buy food and such. I uh, have I knew of Joy Junction and I had been staying in shelters in Albuquerque. There are some shelters for men especially. And uh, I thought, staying in shelters isn't doing any good. I need a program. I need help with my addiction. I knew of Joy Junction because of Pat, I've been in Albuquerque a long time. And so I was staying at another shelter and instead I called Joy Junction and asked him if I could come. And I came out here as just an overnight guest but inquired and found out about the program to help a person eliminate their abuse and addiction to drugs or alcohol. In my case, primarily alcohol. John, tell me the last apartment you were at. Did they throw you out? Yes, I was evicted. And tell me what happened the morning that they threw you out. Well, they brought me a notice from their lawyer <coughs> saying that I had been unruly and arguing with other tenants. And uh, I decided not to even worry with them. If they didn't want me in the building, I didn't want to be there, it was my attitude. Had you been unruly? Perhaps. But probably under the influence, right? Yes, yes. under the uh-huh. influence. I'm sure of that. And I, I knew I needed help. And I knew of Joy Junction. Uh, just I used to work for Salvation Army, and so I was familiar with other shelters here. And I thought the good idea would be for me to come to Joy Junction, stay here, and see if it suited me or if I felt I could be any help to them. And both were true. And so John, I excuse talk- me a minute. Let me yeah. take you back a minute. Mm-hmm. When you knew you had to leave your apartment, mm-hmm. what was the emotions or what were the emotions that you felt? I was angry. I didn't think it was fair. Scared? Scared of what would happen to me. Uh, I, I have slept out a few times, but I certainly would not like to sleep out on the street. It's dangerous. Have you done that before? A few times I've had to. Mm-hmm. And so what happened when you left? You called another mission in town? I went to another mission for a few nights. But I fe- it, it looked to me like a dead end, that I, I wasn't going to really get any better or doing it. It's nice to have overnight shelter, but I'm a, a sort of a law. I'm a loner. I live by myself usually, and I in a situation like that I had nowhere to go. So now you've been at JJ for four months. How has it been going? It goes good for me. I like being around other people who are recovering from addiction problems. When I get off by myself in a corner, I do get scared of what's going to happen to me or what what tomorrow's going to bring. But here at Joy Junction, I have made friends and I know friends who have done well and actually overcome their addiction. We don't, I, no one can tell what tomorrow will bring us, but I, I do get hope from that. And my, from the friends that I've made here at Joy Junction, it strengthens me. I, I think, well, if they can do that, I can do that too. John, what have you done in your life as a job? Uh, what I'm you- a retired electrician. I was an electrician okay. for many years. And then when I became 62, I retired and uh, I haven't worked much since then. Okay. All right, without us or without being here, if there had been no JJ, as we call ourselves, where do you think you would be now today? I really don't know. Uh, I had asked a couple of the missions, and I'm, I have health problems as well as addiction. Sure. I have a hip that I broke about three, four years ago, and I also have broken the shoulder. It's getting better. I was at the hospital yesterday, and he, my doctor's encouraging that I can get better from it. 
but uh, I really don't know where I would be. Uh, I knew of Joy Junction. I had heard of it from my work with uh, Salvation Army, and I also worked at Mission a long time ago, and helping others. I like helping other people, but I'm the one that needs sure. it now. And how is having, I imagine now, because our program is faith-based, you're entering into a relationship with Jesus. How is he helping you with the addiction? I do ask for help every night from the Lord, from the Lord God. And I think that I, I get answers. I, I, I pay attention to signs, and if I'm doing well, and I think getting the scooter has helped me. That's awesome. Yeah. Let me just show you folks what he means. Okay. John is on a scooter. I, it's real classy, John. Yeah, it is. It's fun, but... You can see it, he's on a scooter, folks. The reason is that I can't walk, and I'd rather... I told one somebody today, in fact, I'd rather be walking around. But in the event, because of my bad hip and shoulder, I, it's, I'm disabled. But that doesn't end my life at all. No, I have things I want to do. I want to go people places, see people, and all that. And so this has been a great help, the cooperation in helping me get this. And with my Social Security money, I was able to get the scooter. And it fits in here at Joy Junction. People are a little jealous. They want to ride around on well, it. Well, I want to. <laughs> no, I tell them, no, sorry, no hitchhikers. <laughs> and, but it, it's an aid to my recovery. And when I, I talked with Joel quite a bit, he's our teacher here, Joel. And I, I said, uh, do you think I could go inquire and look into it? And I did, and I looked at everything and all that, and it, it fortunately has been, it's been very helpful, and it works out good here. I can go to my classes in different buildings. Yes. John, how is the fight with the, uh, how is the fight with being an addict uh, working for you every day, or how are you, how are you able to cope with that? Does it get any easier? It does get a little easier. <clears throat> I almost, I, I can see where I would be just from past experience if it weren't that I were living here at Joy Junction and I like being here because I feel strength and faith and hope that I, that eventually I can leave Joy Junction but not right at this time. What would you like to tell donors, John? We have many thousands of wonderful people that give a little bit of money each month to keep us afloat. What would you like to tell them? Because we're here doing the work but we couldn't do the work without their funds. True, that's true. I, th I thought about that the other day, that somebody has to pay the light bill and all that, and uh, I don't pay anything and so forth. So it's What would you donors. say to the donors? Thank you to the donors. They've made it possible for me to have hope and resume faith. I've been a Christian for a while, a long while, but I, I strayed away and strayed mm -hmm. away, and uh, we are, as I can see, a faith-oriented program here. And I get, I like our classes. We have classes in the morning, yes, uh, every day, Monday to Friday, and uh, I like being around the other people that are recovering and have faith in God and Jesus. Awesome. Final thought here. Well, let me ask you this: If you have one wish, John, what would it be? I just I pray for strength, that that I won't give up, and I don't plan on it. I I I. I I get strength from the other people here and the teachers and the staff. And it makes me very hopeful that there's things to come. That's so true, John. I mean, the, uh, the word says, without a vision, we will all perish. Mm -hmm. We have to have hope. John, anything you'd like to tell our viewers, donors, I haven't asked you? No, I just would like them to know that the, the, their donations are make this, make this all possible. Uh, there's no way I could be here unless Joy Junction was helped by other people. Awesome. John, thank you for taking a minute of your day. And again, folks, if you want to hit your ride, don't ask him, but maybe you can come down here and ask John if you can, like, uh, at least ride a little bit on the, uh, on his, uh, hover rounds here, right? <laughs> Isn't that cool? But of course, I know you prefer not to use it, but it does help, help you, right? It does. I, I really can't walk very far. I can go a little ways. And at first, when I first got here, I thought, well, maybe this won't work. But no, it does work out. The help I need is in the area of defeating an addiction. We never really defeat it, but overcoming my addiction. Awesome. And this has made it, being able to get around is helpful too. Awesome, John. Thank you for taking a few minutes with us today. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much.